to it. So I was just gonna say I'm going back up to September. Okay, I'm fine, 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 fine. I'm in like the weirdest mood right now, so like I apologize if I'm super strange. Bye, Vegas. It's Jay, and today I'm here with my first Friday reads for the month of September. I have a total of three books that I'm hoping to get to this weekend. I'm going back up to university tonight, so I'm going to be like all alone in my room because my roommates don't come up until Sunday, so I'm going to have a heck of a lot of time to read before classes start on Monday. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I have that I'm hoping to get to is actually a book that I got for the booktube tours, which is run over by... Grace over at Loving Dem Books and basically booktube tours is this club that we get sent books in exchange for honest reviews. Usually we make a video or a blog post and a bunch of promotional stuff for the book. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend becoming a host. I'll leave the links down below if you guys want to check it out. The book is Dark Horse by Cecily Von Zygeser. I'm sorry, I'm going to say that name wrong for the rest of my life. But this is the author of Gossip Girl. I've never read Gossip Girl, but apparently the books are really good. I've never read like a horse book and it's like a thriller horse book. So I'm actually very excited about this. This book follows Merritt Wenner, who has been on a self-destructive path for a while now after the death of her horse and grandmother. After a wild night, she ends up walking out of the SATs and disappearing, and her parents have decided to send her to an equestrian-based therapy ranch kind of thing. So she gets sent to Good Fences, and Merritt meets a horse there, and his name is Red. No one has ever bonded with Red, and nobody's been able to ride him for a while, and that is when Merritt steps in and she's not afraid of him, which probably helps a lot. And it's not long before the two of them become best of friends. Red's owner recognizes that Merritt and Red have this bond. She decides to fund Merritt in order to get her started in the hunter-jumper circuit. The book is set around the competitive atmosphere of the equestrian riding. And Merritt finds herself attracted to Red's groom, Beatrice, and also a rival rider named Carbon. In Red's mind, Merritt is his alone and anybody else poses a threat and Merritt realizes that Red will go to great lengths to keep it this way. So it sounds really fast paced. It sounds like it's going to be super thrilling. I feel like the horse is going to like murder somebody, which I'm kind of excited about, like killer horse. Yes, please. It sounds like a great mystery novel and I'm very excited to get to this. If you guys are interested in checking out Dark Horses, there will be a link down below with all the information on this book, and I will also have a full review up of it on September 30th, so stay tuned for that on my channel. Next book I'm hoping to get to for this weekend is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I'm actually pretty much done the book. I'm on page 384. There's like 400 and something pages in it. I'm really enjoying it. I'm still gonna say I like Eleanor and Park better than Fangirl, but this is definitely up there for my favorite Rainbow Royale book. Even though this is my second one, so like it doesn't even really count because I've only read two. But I haven't finished it, so maybe the ending's gonna like bump it up. We're gonna see by the end of this weekend. I'm probably gonna finish it tonight. So, very excited about it because everyone says this is like their favorite Rainbow Royale book. So, we'll see if my opinion changes. And the final book that I'm hoping to get to this weekend is Losing It by Cora Carmack. This book follows Bliss Edwards, who is about to graduate from college, and she's still a virgin, so she decides that she's going to lose her virginity in a one-night stand. She ends up freaking out, and this gorgeous guy is left in her bed naked, and she, she just comes up with this excuse. We don't know what the excuse is until we read the book, I'm assuming. But then she walks into her theater class, and she recognizes the professor as this gorgeous boy she just left in her bed 15 hours ago. It sounds like it's going to be super entertaining. I think it's going to be cute. I'm assuming it's a new adult book. I don't know, I got it from the thrift store, but it was on my shelf, super short, so why not? And, you know, everyone needs a good, uh, new adult book once in a while, if you get what I'm saying. Kids, don't read this, because it's probably porn. Alright guys, so that was my Friday reads for the first weekend of September. I will see you all in my next video. It's probably going to be pre-filmed, I'm sorry, but what you going to do, because your girl going back to university! Good. Bye!